While COVID-19 PCR tests are no longer available to most, rapid antigen tests, while still in short supply, are being made available to Ontarians, especially in schools. In our weekly COVID-19 Q&A with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, a viewer asked when a rapid test should be used to determine if you've been infected. So I would recommend using it when you have symptoms and to save it for those times. Uh, if you have even one symptom of COVID, uh, you know, one of the major symptoms or two of the minor symptoms, you can take the test. And the tests are actually a, a way to actually rule out COVID in certain circumstances. So, for example, in schools, if someone at home has symptoms, in order to get the kid back to school, the person who has symptoms do one test, wait 24 hours, and do a second test. And as long as the symptoms are getting better, the two rapid antigen tests are negative, then you're cleared from the infection. So really, we're saying one positive is a positive. You can stop there, treat it like it's COVID. Two negatives, um, uh, 24 to 48 hours apart, are required to clear. It's not clearance testing. So it's not if you test positive, you need to then keep testing until you get a negative. That's not it. It's only if you have symptoms and you're not sure if it's COVID, if you do a test and it's negative, well, you're going to have to repeat another test to make sure that that's negative. And then you can say, okay, I have symptoms, but it's not COVID. For more answers about testing and vaccines from this Q&A and to submit your questions for our next one, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.